Okay, welcome to another What's New? Okay, welcome back. Now, this is an exciting little episode, this one, because we've got a new camera, and this camera is for Kim, and it's this one right here now. Now, I've just finished updating it on the computer here through the Action Cam Movie Curator. Kim doesn't know I've got this camera yet, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise for her, for her. I am about to take it out for a test run. I'll tell you a little bit more out on the road about it and why I've got this camera. One thing is, I'll show you just before we go the setup I've got on my helmet at the moment, which won't be the setup on Kim Tillman. It's just to troll the camera. So guys, I will catch you in a minute with the camera on the helmet and I'll show you. Then we'll go out for a ride. Catch you in a minute, guys. Right, I've got the camera on the helmet. Now remember, this is not going to be the final setup on Kim's helmet. This is where I normally have my GoPro. So this is it here. Right there, on top of the adventure helmet. <laughs> It is a Sony camera, FDRX 3000. So we're going to give this a whirl, and like I said, it will be going on Kim's um, helmet. That is it. Right there, you see? That's on my GoPro now. So anyway, I'll catch you out on the road. Okay, what a beautiful winter's day we've got here in Tasmania. As you can see, nice clear blue skies in front of us, few clouds, a few clouds over here, never mind, what do you, oh, well, it's not a winter's day, it's spring actually, oh my apologies guys, now like I said, we're just going to take this camera out for a bit of a whirl, we'll go down um, through the town of Wynyard, Tasmania, and we'll go out along the back of the highway, just to see what the audio on that's like, and see what sort of adjustments I need need to make. Like I said, this camera is for Kim, for her to vlog on, especially when we go away on our holidays in November, because we're going on a month's long holidays, taking the bikes to mainland Australia from Tasmania. So anyway, we're about to go down the main street of Wynyard here. Hopefully you guys can see things okay and you can hear me. Now, I've never used a Sony camera before. So, this is the first time. And we'll see how we go. So if anybody's got any ideas um, about camera settings or anything like that, please let me know for the best settings for this camera, for moto vlogging, for when we're out on the road because that would be appreciated. It's trial and error at the moment, I guess. But this is a pretty little main street of Wynyard, Tasmania. And we are out on the mighty V-Strom today. Kim's not with me, like I said. She doesn't know I've got this camera yet. I'm, I'm um, just testing it out at the moment. And I'm going to surprise her and set it up. Now, we did buy Kim another camera here a couple of months ago. Very disappointed. It was a ten. Uh, it was a Senna 10C Pro. Now, for the money you pay for one of them, you expect a bit of something in return for it, don't you? Well, that was not the case, was it? We got it. The unit. I got no complaints about the unit at all. I had it four days before I sent it back to Senna Warranty in Western Australia. Now, the problem was when you. Um, because I run a 20S Evo on my helmet, Kim normally does too, but I went up to that 10C Pro for her, so then she'd have the camera as well. The problem was, while you were both playing music in your helmet while you are on the road, and you connected up the intercom between each other, it was all squelchy. Now that's not good enough as far as I'm concerned. 570 odd dollars for a camera, Bluetooth camera, um, and then when you're both playing separate music on your own Bluetooth modules and you have an intercom connection, it's all squelchy. Quite fine when the music's not playing, but as soon as both of you have got music on and you um, have a conversation, it's all squelchy. So I sent it back to Santa. Santa said to me, 
Oh yeah, no, we know we've got a problem with that. Well, why the fucking hell sell them then? She said, well, they're working on a firmware fix. That might be fine, but these, those cameras have been out for a fair while now, and um, still no firmware fix for them. So what's going on there? The police sitting there? So what's going on? Like I said to the girl that's seen a warranty, um, that's not good enough. I said, I paid that money, in good faith that that camera, the, you know, all that Bluetooth's going to work fine on it. And now you're telling me you know about it, you're working on a firmware fix, but you don't know when it's going to be available. And you've known about it since you released a camera. I said, I want my money back. So I got my money back. Simple as that. As much as I would have liked to have kept the camera and used it. Anyway, so we've gone over to this Sony camera. So guys, let me know what you think. Like I said, temporary setup at the moment. Just seeing how the audio on that is. See what I've got to change on it in there. So guys, just let me know uh, the best practices for this um, camera. I really don't want to stuff it up when I put it on Kim, Kim's helmet. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it, would I? She never even got to use the scene of one. <laughs> she said, I broke it before I used it. Well, she didn't even touch it. <laughs> I had it on the helmet and that was it. Anyway, another story that one in it, eh? So, I don't know what the wind noise is going to be there like at the moment. We're sitting on about 85 k's. And we're about to hit the highway at the back of Wynyard. Wander up to 100 k's and we'll just see what it's like. Now, keeping in mind, there might be a bit of wind noise here, I don't know. I have got uh, the setting on in the camera to reduce the wind noise a little bit through the mics. So, um, we'll just see what happens. And bearing in mind also, Kim's helmet is a different helmet than this one. I don't think it's quite as windy as what this helmet is. So, we're not going to know until we get it on her helmet, probably on her bike. On the beast, the Red Devil, the Harley Davidson. So we're sitting on a hundred, and um, I think that'll be that'll be enough to see what the camera is actually doing and the microphone's actually doing. So we'll just turn here and we'll head back in to Wynyard. So up in front here we've got the airport. It's straight over the back here. Over the back there is Table Cape. We've got a lighthouse up on top. Old volcanic area, that old volcano, that extinct now, of course. If you want to see, if you want to see a video, Kimmy Russell Adventures went up there to Table Cape and done a short video. It's back in all our YouTube videos there. But that there on the right is the airport, and we're coming up to a little bit of an industrial place here in Wynyard, just up around the corner here. Mind you, Wynyard's not that big a town, probably 5,000 people or so, I'm not sure. Got a lot of outlying areas, it's about 18 kilometres from Burnley, Tasma Tasmania on the northwest coast. This is a little bit of a um, industrial area, this one. But anyway, we'll head home now. Hopefully, hopefully, this audio and the footage comes out okay. I've got it on 1080p 50 frames I think it is with a narrow field of view at the moment. Just trial on it. So guys I will probably catch you back at home and we'll sit down and have a little bit of a talk about the camera. We'll catch you there guys. Right we're back home and we about to upload the footage onto the computer remember it's the Sony. What is it? FDRX 3000 that we're testing for Kim. So, you guys let me know what you think of the footage, how I can approve it, and the best settings for this actual camera for Moto Vlogging. Um, that's all I've got to say today. That's another What's New from Kimmy Russ Adventures. Catch you on the road, guys.